أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assessing Reliability and Convergent Validity IBM SPSS AMOS Construct Reliability and Validity Once the factor loadings and model fit is assessed, the next step is to check the reliability and validity of the constructs. So what is Construct Reliability? Construct Reliability Assessment allows the evaluation of the extent to which a variable or set of variables is consistent in what it intends to measure. The essence of reliability is actually covered in the word consistency. For example, if the same measuring instrument produces the same results with the same individuals on different occasions, then we can say that the measuring instrument is reliable. Or you can say it produces consistent results if the same measuring instrument is used with the same individuals under same conditions on different occasions and it produces the same results then we can say it is consistent. Now construct reliability is usually assessed using composite reliability and cron batches alpha. So there are two ways through which you can establish a construct reliability. Now cron batch alpha it can be easily calculated using SPSS there are videos on the channel as well. In case of this series the focus will be on AMOS and composite reliability calculation using AMOS. Now both the values are interpreted using the guidelines offered by Nunnally and Bernstein who suggest 0.7 as a benchmark for modest reliability applicable or acceptable reliability. Composite reliability is calculated based on factor loadings and the formula is this composite reliability you sum your loadings and then take the square you sum your loadings take the square and sum the error variance so here lambda this here is the standardized factor loading for the item and this is your respective error variance for the item the error variance is estimated based on the value of standardized loading by subtracting the loading from one so you get your error variance so what is construct validity? Now before we move on to construct validity, let's calculate the composite reliability. So I've got this simple calculator here that we can use for our composite reliability. Here, see ya. Now here's the formula that we've discussed. So what we need is we just need the loadings. So where are our loadings? So we run our model. We go to the output, estimates, and here are our standardized regression weights. So what you can do is you can simply copy this table here. Right click, copy, just paste it here somewhere. Now what we need is we need loadings for each of the construct. Do not do or do not try to calculate composite reliability for all the constructs together. No. You have to make sure that you are reporting composite reliability for each of the construct. So authentic leadership behavior, we copy the loadings and just bring it here, paste it. So this is 0.813. What you can do is just write here authentic 0 0.8813. So you've got record for all of them. Let's do for ethical behavior. So we copy and we paste it here. So it's 0.918 behaving ethically, 0 0.918. And similarly, you can do for life satisfaction, this copy and it's just the four indicators. So you need to add a zero here, zero here and your composite reliability for life satisfaction is 0 0.891. Now all of them are greater than 0.7. This means that the constructs or the measures that you have used in your study are reliable. They are consistent. They are going to give you consistent results. Now moving on, once the reliability is assessed, now just checking the composite reliability, okay. Now once the reliability is assessed, the next step is calculating convergent validity. So I've got a calculator for this one as well. I'm going to use it but before that, let's explain the concept of construct validity. Construct validity. 
Construct validity is the measure of how well the items selected for the construct actually measure the construct. So the items that you have selected, are they actually measuring the construct that you want to measure? For example, life satisfaction in this case is measured using five indicators. One, one of them was deleted. Construct validity will help determine how well these five items measure the latent unobserved construct of life satisfaction. So construct validity is established through two forms of validities, convergent validity and discriminant validity. So what is convergent validity? That is the focus of this particular session. So convergent validity refers to the degree to which multiple measures that is LS1, LS2, LS3, LS4 and LS5 that are measuring the construct of life satisfaction that theoretically should be related are in fact related. Now, since they are measuring the same construct, they should converge or come together to measure the underlying construct. So all those five indicators of life satisfaction should come together and measure the underlying construct of life satisfaction. Hence, the multiple indicators measuring the same concept through convergent validity are assessed to whether these indicators converge or come together to measure the underlying construct. So the indicators of one particular construct must be correlated or should have a significant correlation with each other. This will ensure unidimensionality of the multiple item construct and will help in eliminating any unreliable indicators. Convergent validity is assessed using average variance extracted AVE. The AVE indicates how much of the indicator's variance can be explained by the latent unobserved variable. So an AVE greater than 0 0.50 provides empirical evidence for convergent validity as the corresponding latent variable now explains more than half of the variance in the belonging indicators. So what's the formula for convergent validity? AVE is calculated by the sum of squares of the factor loading. So you take the square of factor loading and then sum all those squares and divide it by the number of items in the unobserved latent variable. So here is the formula. So what you do is you square all the loadings, then sum the loadings and divide it by n. That is the number of items in the unobserved latent variable where lambda represents the factor loadings. Now, how do you do it in AMOS? So here is a small simple calculator that I'm going to use. So where are my loadings? Again, the loadings remain the same. Got them here, so why not just copy it from here? Let's copy and put it in here so that it's easily accessible. Let's do authentic leadership behavior. Control C, put it here, Control V. So here is your AVE. This is slightly less than 0.5. So what should we do? Shall we delete any indicators? Well, yes, this can be deleted. But if you do not want to delete it, there is a reference that one can use. If your composite reliability for that particular indicator is greater than 0.7, then you can say that, yes, your latent variable is valid. So you do not need to delete if your AVE is very close to 0.5 and your CR or composite reliability for that particular latent variable is greater than 0.7. So this is, let's say we add it here. AVE for authentic behavior is 0 0.47. Let's do for the other one behaving ethically. So I've got it here, copy and I'll put it here, paste. So 0 0.65, no issues there, 0 0.65, behaving ethically and let's do for life satisfaction as well. So we copy and we put it here. We do not need the last two, so we'll put a zero here. And look at this, 0 0.67, this is all fine, life satisfaction, 0 0.67. Now we've got AVE values for all the constructs in our study. We've got the composite reliability values for all the constructs in our study. And as we can see, we can call them reliable and valid as well. So this is how you calculate the composite reliability for your latent variable and your convergent validity for your latent variables. In the next session, 
we are going to focus on discriminant validity thank you very much